Endurance International sucks. The purpose and reason behind the creation of this site is to advise the public of Endurance International and their horrible customer service and their unreliability to perform basic web hosting and website creation. Endurance International is a multinational company with offices in Massachusetts, Arizona, Mumbai and India. Their customer service for ReadyHosting.com is based out of India and the stole tactics and outright lies are a travesty as a business. The company's sales reps will tell you anything to get your credit card number and then this is where the service ends. Another tactic they use is a click wrap terms and agreement before you even have a chance to review the site and try to use its features. The Latin term caveat emptor or buyer beware can be directed at anyone who does business with Endurance International. I will provide a list of companies that they own, names and email addresses for the principals, which include the owner, Stephen Sidness and the documents I have collected which will illustrate their complete incompetence and their ignorance and ignoring of the law. You are welcome to use these email addresses for your own purposes. Let them know how each and every one of them are responsible for the actions of their companies in are not exempt from their callous and sometimes criminal acts Endurance International is currently under investigation for wire fraud charges by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and I will post the latest in information as it becomes available. Civil charges will quickly follow alleging breach of contract, loss of site visibility and revenue, and the most egregious religious bias, the civil trial will also be posted as it becomes available. If you own a family type site or a site that is made just for fun I wouldn't worry too much about them. But if you own a business and rely on your web presence to enhance your business and your bottom line, then I would definitely encourage you to review the site and decide for yourself whether the risk is worth the reward in continuing to do business with them. They are very consistent in their failure and I will provide links from their customers indicating their unhappiness and help you better understand what kind of company their money is their goal. Customer service comes as far second best of luck to you. If stay away from Endurance International your chances for web success will improve dramatically. International Group also enjoys the benefit of having Excel KKR as a partner who helps them in acquisitions and cash flow. They are very proud to list them under their portfolio pages. Endurance International has over 1 million URLs and over 500 OO websites that they host. Unfortunately, if you call their phone numbers in Atlanta or San Francisco you are more likely to receive the voice mail. I have included their email addresses and their officers information to better help you find restitution. Good luck though. I advise them of their wire fraud infractions and instead of fixing them they ignored me and continued to do business as usual. It's either hubris or ignorance or maybe they think they are above the law. The very fabric of our nation is built on the law. As the FBI complete their investigation, there is a real chance of prison time as well as punitive damages. Maybe this will wake them up, don't believe me though. Check out the BBB for Massachusetts and you'll find over 171 complaints in the past 36 months. That's almost 5 a week or 1 complaint a day. How they continue to do business is beyond me. Best of luck to you and add your own individual complaints. Maybe someone in authority will hear us and take appropriate action against this business. 18 U.S.C. 1343 Whoever, having devised or intending to devise any scheme or artifice to defraud, or for obtaining money or property by means of false or fraudulent pretenses, representations, or promises, transmits or causes to be transmitted by means of wire, radio, 
or television, communication in interstate or foreign commerce, any writings, signs, signals, pictures, or sounds for the purpose of executing such scheme or artifice shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 20 years or both. If the violation occurs in relation to or involving any benefit authorized, transported, transmitted, transferred, dispersed, or paid in connection with a presidentially declared major disaster or emergency, as those terms are defined in Section 102 of the Robert Stafford Disaster Relief and Emergency Assistance Act 42 U.S.C. 5122 or affects a financial institution. Such person shall be fined not more than $1 million or imprisoned not more than 30 years, or both.